Hello children, welcome to Mallaredi Memorial School Digital Classes. In this uh, video, we will discuss about the third unit in 7th English, A reading, Puru the Brave. Puru the Brave. Before going to the text, let us have a picture interaction. Children, look at the picture and answer the questions that follow. The first question is, what do you see in the picture? Children, what do you see in the picture? Yeah. The war is going on. Soldiers are fighting one another. They have uh, stabs and uh, elephants are also fighting. Horse also there in the battlefield. The second question is, what do you think may be the causes of wars in the world? means uh, what is the reason for wars in the world is the meaning of the question so children you think what are the causes of wars in the world and uh, let me know in the class next oral discourse talk on impact of wars on human life so what is the impact of wars on human life so we have uh, we had two wars earlier that is world war one and world war two and there was a, a great impact of those uh, wars on human being so a lot of people had died in that war and uh, there was a huge loss in that war so in that way you collect information and uh, write the impact of wars on human life and speak about it in the class coming to the text before going to the text puru the brave children i want you to give some information about this text this text or the story is all about the battle of jhelum the battle of jhelum is also called the battle of Hydaspus and this battle of Jhelum was happened in 326 BC BC means before Christ and this battle of Jhelum was between Alexander the Great the king of Macedonia and the king of Puru he is the king of the Paurava kingdom. This battle was taken place on the bank of Jhelum river in the Punjab region. Jhelum river is the tributaries of uh, Ganga river. So in this battlefield, Alexander got victory and Puru was surrendered. The full name of the Puru is Purushottam. Coming to the story, here he has given four uh, some characters in the story. So let us discuss about them. I have told you that uh, Alexander, the first character, is the king of Macedonia who conquered Greece and uh, Persia and etc. Puru uh, he is the king of uh, North India. His kingdom was Paurava kingdom. And four Greek generals and uh, six soldiers. So these are all the characters involved in this text and in the story. So let us coming to the uh, text. The camp of uh, Alexander on the banks of the Jhelum. So it is a camp. After completion of the war, they uh, arranged a camp and uh, uh, there is a discussion in that camp and the discussion is like this Alexander is sitting on a high chair and uh, his four generals are sitting on low chairs two Greek soldiers 
are standing at door alexander is having talk with his generals so usually uh, king sit on high chairs and uh, general sit on low chairs so four generals sit on low chairs and the uh, king sit on high chair and two uh, greek soldiers are uh, standing at the gate or the, the door so alexander have a discussion uh, with his generals so general uh, means a commander of army or a commander of uh, soldiers okay so the text uh, begins like this so it's a conversation uh, between alexander and its uh, and his generals okay so alexander says like this the battle of jhelum will go down in the history of country our country alexander is saying that uh, the battle of jhelum will go down go down means uh, recorded okay so the battle of jhelum will be recorded in the history of our country he, who, what is his country greek okay so he is saying that the battle of jhelum will be recorded in the history of uh, greek history okay uh, first general is saying it will go down in the history of uh, india too second uh, first general is saying that uh, not only our country greeks uh, your majesty uh, it will be uh, recorded in the history of uh, india too and second general is saying it will go down in the history of a uh, world so uh, second general is saying that not only in the history of uh, greek and uh, in the history of india it will be uh, recorded in the history of world too world also the third general is saying i have never fought such a battle before the general is saying that he did not uh, fight uh, uh, such a battle uh, earlier okay so coming to the uh, fourth general i haven't either until the last moment i could not believe that we would be able to defeat the army of puru so fourth general is saying yes i did, i too did not uh, uh, think so and uh, and i could not believe that uh, we will win on the uh, and we will defeat the army of puru uh, until the last moment because uh, until the last moment the war is in the hands of uh, puru and his soldiers but in the last moment uh, puru soldiers uh, left the battlefield and uh, puru alone fought with the soldiers of uh, uh, alexander uh, then he was uh, caught and uh, surrendered and he was lost in the battle alexander yes it has been a great battle perhaps the greatest of my life i must say every indian soldier fought like a tiger yes alexander saying yes it's a great battle maybe it is a greatest battle in in my life it means uh, in the life of uh, alexander and he is saying that i must say indians every indian soldier fought like a tiger alexander is saying that every indian soldier so he is he is appreciating the soldiers of india and uh, appreciating the soldiers of puru okay and uh, that uh, they are they fought like a tiger first general they fought like devils your majesty yes he is uh, say, uh, saying that yes they fought like devils okay yes your majesty your majesty means uh, it's a honor of a uh, um, king so when we Uh, speak something to the king we should add this word uh, before and end of our words alexander the indians are good soldiers they know how to fight they fight better than our men yes alexander is saying indians are good soldiers indian soldiers are good they know how to fight they fight better than our men yeah he is he is uh, uh, appreciating and he is uh, saying that indian soldiers are fought in the battle better than alexander soldiers okay uh, second general but their generals are aren't uh, so good as ours second general is saying that uh, puru's generals are not as good as alexander generals okay second general is saying that purus uh, puru means uh, purushottam's uh, the king's generals are not as good as the generals of alexander alexander if you mean that 
aren't so brave as the Greek generals? I don't agree with you. Yeah, Alexander is not agree with the uh, no opinion of the second general that uh, uh, Indian generals are uh, not as good as a, a Greek or Alexander generals. Second general, but they aren't very skillful, Your Highness. Uh, they are not skillful. They are not uh, skilled uh, and they did not show their skills in the battle, Your Highness. He is saying to the uh, King Alexander. Alexander, I see what you mean. And here I agree with you. Uh, yes, yes, uh, what you said is right. I agree with you. The Indian generals are still following the old methods of war. Yes, the Indian generals are following the old methods. So there are some methods in the war which we have to use at the right time to win in the victory. But uh, uh, the Indian uh, generals which they follow, the method which they follow is not a uh, 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 um, modern method okay they used old methods okay uh, their plans are faulty and uh, they depend too much upon their elephants but as fighters they were wonderful I have the highest respect for them yeah the uh, their battle battle plan and it means uh, we should have a plan in the battle okay uh, uh, we have seen in Bahubali that uh, Trishul of you home so we should have a plan in the uh, battlefield that uh, that plan of the poor soldiers was fault uh, what is the fault they did is uh, they depend too much on the uh, uh, elephants okay so in the battle we should not depend only on one thing we should uh, uh, we should uh, depend on whole things then only we can win the battle so this is the opinion of the Alexander and he is saying that uh, the generals of uh, Puru uh, depended fully on the elephants but he is appreciating the uh, soldiers but uh, as the fighters they were very they are wonderful I have the highest respect yeah he is giving respect to the uh, um, uh, Puru soldiers it means Indian soldiers okay so here Puru soldiers means Indian soldiers only okay and uh, the third general I was amazed to see how Puru fought in the battle of Jilam yeah he he, he was amazed to see that uh, how Puru fought in the battle it means we can understand that uh, Puru fought in the battle uh, brilliantly okay so by this statement we can understand uh, how uh, efficiently uh, Puru fought with the soldiers of Alexander okay so children uh, this was the uh, story so let us discuss about the remaining story in our next video uh, thank you children